Hi, I'm with Fire Breathing Kittens, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons podcast, and I'm going to show you how to noise gate using the free program Audacity. The first thing people want to see when they click on these videos is literally how to click the buttons to noise gate, so I'll show you that first, but then I'll go into a detailed explanation of why I clicked those buttons in particular, and what are the parameters that you should think about when you're using noise gate yourself. So first, how to noise gate, literally. You select the region on the track using the iBeam tool that you would like to gate. You then click Effect, and then click on Noise Gate. Select the gate that you'd like to use. I'd like to use 26. Click OK. That's how you noise gate. So now for an explanation of exactly what I did. Look at these regions here and here. I'm going to click Ctrl Z to restore them to what they were before and watch. See how they increased in the waveform? A noise gate is a filter that you apply to reduce all of the decibels by a certain amount that are quieter than your threshold. My threshold being what it was, I didn't affect the sound that was louder than the noise gate threshold. And I did affect the sound that was quieter, so let's click Control y to redo. And you see that this sound went away while this sound was left untouched. Again, Control z to show you what that looked like before. And now Control y to show you what it looks like after the gate. Noise gate can be used to remove troublesome sounds that can get recorded as you record. So, for example, breaths in. Kittens Guild Hall! Upon returning to the hall, your fellow- Do you hear the breath in there? Kittens Guild Hall! Upon returning- You can hear it more here. <laughs> Confused! <laughs> that breath in is a troublesome sound. Other troublesome sounds that you might want to remove are clickety-clacking on a keyboard, click-click-click with a mouse, mouth sounds, that happen when your, your lips touch your teeth and stuff like that. Desk sounds that happen when you touch your desk. Chair sounds that happen when you squeak your chair. And far off distant sounds like maybe a distant siren or a dog barking or kids in the next room, etc. These sounds, because they're all quieter than your speaking voice, can be gated out. You need to know what the amount of amplitude is, the number of decibels, of the sound that you'd like to remove, and then you set your threshold to that amount, and you run the noise gate and tell it to remove that sound, leaving everything above the threshold. So how do you know how many decibels the sound that you'd like to remove is? There are several different, there are three that I'll, I'll tell you, there are three different ways to know how loud the sound that you'd like to gate out is. One is to select the sound and use this other plugin I'm plug-in heavy on this tutorial so far. So for noise gate, so a plugin is a tool that doesn't come with Audacity. You just have to go find it using Google and then install it and it'll run and it's free. So free is good, um, but you do have to go get it. Um, anyway, so this plugin is called Peak Finder RFT. You click on it and it tells you and it just gives you a number, but not everybody has that plugin. So um, I will, show you a different way. You could also just play the sound. So what happened when I played that sound was this green line went up and this blue line recorded the maximum. Ready? By playing the sound, I know that the peak value of this region that I'd like to remove is here between the negative 30 and the negative 36 on the playback level. See? No plug-in required. You can just click play. Upon returning okay. to the hall, you're- Properly, properly. Click play properly. <laughs> and then you know what the volume is. If you're not familiar with this playback level, it's basically an arbitrary number where zero is the loudest that your microphone can record. Negative six is six decibels quieter than that, so still very, very loud. This is like shouting. Between negative 12 and negative 18 is like a normal talking volume. Negative 24 is kind of whispery, it's hard to hear, like speak up. Negative 30 and below is usually background. So by 
playing this sound here and seeing that the peak is negative 30, you can see that if I set a threshold at 30, I would probably, and, and if I were to gate out anything below 30, I would probably leave my voice untouched and only remove this gasping air sound. Breathing in, sorry. <laughs> Breathing in, I'll try to be less gross. Okay. This part is me talking. And if I were to select a bit of that and play it, you can see that the peak will, instead of being at negative 31 or whatever that is, 33, it will be probably, my bet is around negative 12 or so. Fire breathing kittens. Yeah. So it, it's averaging around negative 12 and the peak is negative six. So I'm quite loud. <laughs> Yay. All right. Um, that is why we selected the threshold on the noise gate of negative 26. Oh, bam, hit it right on the peak. All right, so negative 30, let's see, I'll show you. So at negative 30, we remove the, see, yeah, yeah, look how pretty. Okay, so I'll show you, because I, I, I went a little bit non-auditory there. Control Z to undo what I did, Control Y to redo what I did, and it went away. Okay, so that is what it looks like when you gate out at negative 30. You lose the gasping. Things to avoid when you're noise gating. You don't want to set your threshold too loud because it will remove your voice. This is the threshold set to negative 10 and a level reduction of 10 decibels. You can choose how, how much quieter you make it, by the way. Um, let's reduce it by 30 decibels to get a really dramatic visual here. This is wrong. Don't do it. <laughs> Whoops. I've gated out my voice. <laughs> so what's interesting here is that anything above the threshold is completely untouched. And anything below the threshold is removed by 30 decibels. So now instead of having like a waveform and, and sound and talking and... Your fellow adventurer... It, it's this weird... Confused and disoriented, you all return to the Fire Breathing Kittens Guild Hall. <laughs> so, don't get out your voice. Ways to know that you're gating out your voice. Well, you want what's called um, a large signal to noise ratio. Or basically like you want a big difference between the thing that you'd like to leave in and the thing that you'd like to remove. So, if I wanted to remove this one, I might have some problems removing this breath in because it's about the same volume as so muddled this word muddled 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 that's voice i don't want to remove that but the only way to remove this which is at negative 24 muddled is to set a threshold at about negative 24 and remove that word so let's try that Now, a threshold of negative 24 has removed this breath in and this breath in that was easier because it was quiet, but it's also removed a little bit of that word. See, I'm going to control Z so you can see what the original sound wave was. Yeah, and I'm going to control Y to remove this loud breath in, and you can see it did chop off the last part of that word. So that affecting your waveform, I'm going to control Y here, whoops, control Z to undo it, is what you want to avoid when you're noise gating. You want to avoid removing your voice when you gate out your breaths in, your chairs, your desk sounds, etc. And that's very important when you noise gate to not remove what you're saying in order to remove the sounds you don't want to, you know, what do I call them? Nuisance noises. So please be careful about that when you're noise gating. Take a look at what your quietest voice peaks are. Take a look at how loud the thing you want to remove is, and don't go much louder than that with your threshold. So because I know that this is negative 36, I wouldn't want to gate much higher than that. So noise gate of negative 30 is going to do just fine. Oh, and also, when you reduce it, um, you don't have to reduce 
by 30 decibels, you can reduce just by 10, and that will increase the distance between your speaking and your nuisance sounds by quite a lot without, you don't have to go like 30. Um, so a, a threshold of negative 30 worked to remove this and is probably not going to remove anything else in the track, so let's see. So that's how I arrived at these, whoops, the wrong button. That's how I arrived at these numbers. A level reduction of negative 10, so making it 10 decibels quieter. That means I'm reducing this negative 24, or, oh, yeah, no, negative 40 peak to like negative 50. So it is quite a reduction. You, you hear it a lot less. A gate threshold of negative 30 is typically safe for most voices. It's a pretty standard number. And then you can see that I reduced basically everything I wanted to reduce without getting rid of my quietest voice. Okay, well, that is my tutorial on noise reduction. Or, oh my gosh, that is my tutorial on noise gating. I'm not re-recording just because I made that mental flub at the end there. If you'd like to watch how to remove electronic humming from the entire track, that is my tutorial on noise reduction. So the difference between noise gating and noise reduction is that noise gating either gates out something or it doesn't. And anything it doesn't gate out, it completely leaves alone. So if, for example, I were to gate out doo -doo -doo, at negative 20, whoops, negative 10. Oh, that's right. I've only got it set to 10. That's why. And I'm speaking quite loudly. So if, for example, I were to gate out too high. I still am not going to ever remove the electronic whirring sound from the like the background hum of electronics from the speaking portion. You just can't do that with noise gate. It's something that this tool is not capable of doing. You're either going to remove a sound um, or leave it completely alone, but you're never going to selectively remove a portion of the track such as just the background sound. So if you'd like to remove, oh goodness, I'm not good at scrolling and talking at the same time. So if you'd like to remove the background, forgive me, this is, there we go. So if you'd like to remove this background uniformly from the speaking and non-speaking regions of the track, you're gonna need to use the noise reduction tool, which is an entirely different tutorial video. Alrighty. I'm going to stop talking to you guys now. I hope you learned about noise gate here. Um, don't just noise gate out your background. Remove your background with noise reduction first, and then noise gate out your selectively your desk and chair and mouth sounds. Okay? So noise reduction first before you noise gate. That way you, um, you know, aren't losing the opportunity to remove the fan sound from the speaking regions. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.